This one's called Renovated Mind. The heart is jealous of the cock. The windows wish to be walls. I am swallowed by eyes, eyes, eyes. Never before so clear, never so beautiful. Like a freshly washed old car made new again. Truth, yes, truth, finally truth. Then anger and rage. A beer bottle smashes to the floor. Unable to make its mind up, it goes everywhere, filling every loose second within these walls. We will never stop picking the pieces of each other from our souls. This is called Cabbage Patch Kid in the Mouth of a Lion. <laughs> It could be possible. <laughs> Crawling the cave of yourself, pitiful hands and bruised knees, stomach, soul. Looking up at the sparrow in the trees and wondering, how did you get so high? This poem's called My Father's Second Wife. He's on to his third wife now. This is about his second one. It was as if she had just cut off his testicles and asked if I'd be a pallbearer. Something that a young boy is not supposed to see, especially from someone that was to be viewed as a mother. But there she was in her stockings and high heels, rubbing herself against the bed, leaving the door open just wide enough to tempt the lustful cock of centuries to come in, while I stood outside, as if winding a jack-in-the-box, the surprise a gut shot, all right. Full sensory overload, my entire body tingling, my cock like a marble on glass, tapping out the tune of simply irresistible upon the door, <laughs> and pointing up at the many imperfections in the sky. <laughs> I'm just realizing I talk about cocks a lot, I'm sorry. No, that's I, don't, I don't know what that means. More, more. more cocks! I'm thinking of juice, that's what it is. <laughs> this one's called In Our Old Age. Like sun climbing the ladder of a rose it will come, like wax of the moon or derision of Columbus's compass, mourning a rock through the window or spoiled peach, still clinging to trees that wave summer away. The millions of tiny ant-like smiles that drip from the seconds as skeletons swim a sea of soft flesh. And eyes, eyes that still hold a glistening wonder, tunnel through you like rockets in reverse, their cauterized wounds left behind. And those few holes, the ones that don't ever close, let the sunlight in, but just a little bit. Just enough to remind you that after all the years, you will still know less than nothing. Thankfully, there's nothing to know. Oh, yeah.